beautifully unique boat. This looks to be maybe a square rigged sail for going downwind. And this is the view from the helm. All right, guys, I just got down below and wow, this is a beautiful, beautiful boat. This is a huge engine tech room. What's up everyone? Today I'm excited to bring you the tour of this custom 62 foot length overall 50 foot on deck steel schooner. I'm quite certain you've not seen another boat exactly like this one so stay tuned for the in-depth tour of this unique vessel. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and you're enjoying these videos. It's totally free and it certainly helps us a lot so thank you in advance and without further ado let's get to the tour. All right, so I just stepped aboard and I can already tell that this boat is gonna be special now. There is a hard bimini, hard cover over the cockpit right here, but we're gonna come back to this. We've got some flexible solar up top and a place to hold on to going forward. Taking a look up the rig. This is a schooner, this is a steel schooner gaff rigged I believe really really cool very old school nice wide side decks going forward good handrails going forward as well these lifelines got three strand lifelines here all the rigging looks to be three strand three strand rope so again more old school aspects continuing forward really really high bulwarks here nice and safe We've got cleats on the side looking at the coach roof there's a butterfly hatch and a life raft behind that main sheet looking up the main mast here Very, very cool. I love it. I love it so far. And again, this is a steel boat, so everything is steel. Decks are steel, nice and solid. Don't have to worry about rot. Got all of our rigging for the foremast here. so cool and it looks like on the foredeck there is a stay sole there's a Genoa or a jib up on the huge bowsprit right there I'm gonna continue forward onto the bowsprit this is probably like an eight foot bowsprit, but looking, looking aft from the bow, this is a beautiful, beautifully unique boat. Just super old school, yet it's steel. This is the bowsprit coming through to what looks like a Samson post and then the windlass back here. The stay still is actually on a traveler, so this is a self tacking staysail with a boom very very nice i like that good ventilation with the door aids a big hatch right here and i believe that goes down into the v-berth again just nice wide side decks going going aft and yeah i'm pretty sure this is a gaff rig right here look at this there's another sail right here and then there's another boom or pole or i mean i'm out of my element <laughs> right now. I don't have a ton of knowledge on traditional sailing rigs, so this is just really cool to me. I'm sure a lot of you guys in the comments down below can tell me what all this is, but this looks to be maybe a square rigged sail for going downwind. Really cool. Continuing aft. Back at the main mast right here. I like how you have this organizer. Good place to store fenders as well as lines. Looking at the main boom, there is a stack pack on the main boom as well. This looks to be 
like not a gaff rig. So the foremast looks to be gaff rigged, but the main mast on this schooner, I don't think it is. I don't think it's gaff rigged. And then we're back at the cockpit with the with the hard bimini and the full enclosure. Really necessary for a northern boat like this up in Nova Scotia. Because even in June right now, it's chilly. There's a huge, huge boom. We're going to continue aft. We're going to come back to the cockpit in a little bit. Now the aft deck here has some pretty worn out teak decking. The stern rail looks like it's in okay shape though. Interesting that it's a, a wooden stern rail on a steel boat. And then there's davits on the back with a dinghy. But this is a really nice aft deck back here. Lots of space, lots of room for activities. Got some storage. There's a companionway into the aft cabin. Boom gallows on the main boom to keep that boom from swinging around while you're at anchor like this. And the main sheet. So the main is sheeted to the stern, but then goes forward to the cockpit. Just a super, super cool old school boat. I love it. This boom gallows is bronze, hard biminis with soft panels as well, so kind of a kind of a hybrid enclosure. And we're back to where we started. Looking at the cockpit, central in the cockpit is the helm position. You've got a nice big wooden helm right there. Captain seat. Looking forward, a couple little spots to sit. The main companionway. Got some instruments up there. Another little seat here on the port side. Not long enough to lay on, which is a little bit of an issue for me, but I'm sure something can be done about that. And then the helm position. So a nice comfy helm position. You can sit or stand, probably sit because standing underneath this enclosure will be tough, but that's why, that's why this panel I think is removable, so you can stand at the helm. But right now we're in winter mode, we're in cold weather mode, so I'm going to be sitting at the helm. This is the view from the helm. And you're nice and protected. There is a breeze. It's about 50 or so degrees Fahrenheit right now, which is 10 Celsius-ish. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's a slight breeze, so it is a little bit chilly, but once you're in this enclosure, it is a lot more comfortable out of the weather. Really nice, and you got everything you need right here to sail the boat. So as we saw, main comes back to the cockpit. There are some winches on the sides here for your other sails. And then the mizzen sheet, I believe, is right here. Should be able to adjust some of your sails from the cockpit, but obviously this rig has a lot going on, so I imagine you're gonna have to go forward for a good amount of the sailing on this boat. So you'll want a crew. We're gonna go ahead and go down below. All right guys, I just got down below and wow. If you thought this was a unique one from the exterior, the interior certainly does not disappoint. This is a really beautifully crafted boat. Definitely very unique. Very, very cool. We're going to go ahead and go forward first, all the way forward, and then come back and take a closer look at everything. So I've got to walk through the galley actually, the heads up here as well, and then the V berth up here. So we're going to start up here in the V berth and you know, 
if you're a an average size person, you might have to duck when you get in here. Headroom's probably about five five maybe. But you've got two two single berths, chain locker forward. There's that hatch that we saw from above. Prisms for light. There's not really very many lights on down here, and there's a good amount of light even with even with overcast skies. So those prisms work pretty well to diffuse the light. But this is definitely this is definitely a cozy space. And man, you could just you could feel how tough how tough this boat is, how heavily built it is. The floor mast is right here. Just want to mention there's storage underneath the bunks in the V-berth. Continuing aft to the galley. So this is a forward galley and I actually like that design. I like having the galley be kind of a separate-ish area to the main living area. Lots of cold storage, big sink, stove, electric cooktop, and microwave oven. So everything you need, storage down below. So cooking on this boat is actually electric. Which I I am a fan of. Got a pantry back here. And then directly to port of the galley is the head. And this is a head with a separate shower which is definitely good to see. It's always nice having having more than a wet head, having a separate shower. So nice big head, comfortable head. I'm not the biggest fan of it being practically in the kitchen. I mean, it basically is in the kitchen. But it is what it is. It's functional. It works. And then interestingly enough, the butterfly hatch right here goes over this bulkhead. So it's providing light in the galley as well as the, the main salon. And I mean, look at this shot, guys. <laughs> this is a beautiful, beautiful boat. And sure, it's an old boat. It needs work. But you can't deny how beautiful this is. Wow. All right, so on the starboard side, pretty standard settee right here with what looks like could be a pilot berth up there as well, but probably just storage. Yep. Could be a pretty narrow pilot berth, but you're likely going to sleep right here when you're on a passage. And then over on the port side, there's a half circle main settee and a circular dining table. Look at the detail work on this. Look at this. You've got carvings, wood carvings right here. Little integrated handholds. I mean, every every strut is a handhold essentially. Here, it's so cool. The hatches, oil lamp, very very nice. And you've got storage underneath all of these settees and behind them. And then, like the curved circular theme continues aft and this is not something I've ever seen in a yacht like this. It's a circular or half circle nav station, but a forward facing one at that. So that's really, really cool. Main distribution panel is back there. Instruments on the port side there. I love 
I love this nav station. Not the biggest fan of the chair, but yeah, because that's when you're healing, that might be an issue. But if it had a, a fixed seat, heck yeah. Little toolbox pack there. And there's the companionway ladder. This is definitely a ladder that you're going to want to go down facing aft. And to starboard, there's a little area right here, basically for storage, books, little extra counter space right here. Very nice. Now, before we get to the rest of the boat and continue aft, I want to pull up one of these floorboards, take a look. So we've got tankage. That's tankage in the in the bilge, in the lower portion of the boat, and then the bilge down there. It's very clean looking. Very, very clean for an old steel boat. Obviously, if you want to buy a boat like this, I definitely recommend a survey, good hull survey with a surveyor that is familiar with steel boats. Going aft, we can go one of two ways. We can go out the companionway and walk over the cockpit to get to the aft cabin, or we can go under the companionway and we can go through the engine room. Let's go through the engine room and then we'll go over. So we've got a little door here. Definitely have to duck to get into the engine room. And again, you have to stay stay crouched while you're down here, but guys, look at this engine room. This is a huge engine tech room, equipment room. Access is great to everything. There's the main diesel engine and then a generator right next to it. So all of your diesel equipment is down here. And then on the starboard side, some storage. We've got prisms for light. There's only one light actually on aside from the prisms. And it's pretty bright in here. Batteries are uh, under these panels here. And then if we continue, I believe we're gonna get stopped by stairs though. Yeah, we can continue into the aft cabin. It looks like there's enough room. Let's go do it. So continuing on into the aft cabin. This is definitely not the easiest way to get back here, but you can do it. And once you're back here, again, don't really have standing headroom back here for, you know, an average adult, but there is lots of room, lots of room for sleeping. I mean, heck, if you, you know, you've got two, pretty much two double berths back here, two small doubles, but if you were to connect these, I mean, that would be bigger, bigger than a king size bed back here, which I think if this was our boat, that's what we would do. Make a massive bed and then looking forward. That's where I just came out of. So not the easiest way to get back here. It'd definitely be easier to just go up and over, but I like the fact that you can go up and over or down and under. Got some storage on the sides, storage under the beds. Some more storage. Actually, that'd be a great spot for a composting head, just a second head. That'd be pretty cool. Or or right here, but this, this is kind of like a separate seating area. Some storage and more storage. Really, really cool. Tiller back here. In case you wanna, you wanna be at the tiller instead of at the wheel. 
Very, very cool. I love it. And there's the cockpit. All right, guys, it's time for the full continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to stern, starting in the V berth. Thanks for watching guys. I certainly enjoyed that boat. However, this is definitely not the boat for someone that is new to sailing. This is for the old school traditional sailing vessel enthusiast, someone that really likes putting the time, effort, and money into boats like this. That being said, I think she's an awesome vessel and as with all of these videos, the broker contact information as well as the current asking price is going to be in the description below. I'm going to throw a bunch more information that wasn't included in the video down there as well. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come 
And let it go for a little 